to move to member statement. So we need to move to member statement and recognize the member for Mississauga Malton. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, over 1.5 million Canadians are battling sight loss, an estimated 5.6 million ac Canadians across our country suffer from eye disease that could lead to blindness. The annual cost of vision loss in Canada is approximately $32.9 billion. Vision is a vital as it synergies with our other senses, amplifying hearing, touch, taste, smell to enrich our perception of the world. Madam Speaker, with great ad admiration and gratitude, I would like to acknowledge the visionary leadership of Senator Dr. Asha Seth, who is here today for proposing the designation of May as the National Vision Health Month a decade ago. Dr. Seth's tireless efforts and unwavering commitment to this cause were recently recognized in Ottawa for her exceptional contribution. Dr. Seth's current focus involves promoting comprehensive eye exams for children to detect and to intervene at an early age, safeguarding their future. Thank you, Dr. Seth, for your unwavering dedication and impactful contributions. Your efforts had profound impact on the lives of countless individuals, and we are grateful to your leadership. You are a true vision champion. May God keep giving you the energy to serve the community. Thank you so much, and thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Next statement. Thank you, Speaker. The Workers' Compensation Board of 1914 represents a historic compromise between employers and workers. In a non-adversarial system, employers would be protected from lawsuits and injured workers would receive prompt benefits for as long as their disability lasted. However, beginning with the Mike Harris Conservative government, continued by the Ford government, these principles have been turned on their head, betraying. At every turn, workers injured or made ill on the job. The WSAB now looks for every means to suppress claims. They call on doctors who have never met the worker to decide if an injury has taken place. They push people back to work against medical advice, resulting in further injury. They reduce supports based on phantom jobs. The Minister of Labour promises to increase wage replacement rates, but breaks his promise. They cut the cost of living allowance for injured workers. Then, incredibly, the government gives $1.2 billion to employers, money that injured workers and their families need and are entitled to. And now this government plans on reducing the time to appeal to one month. These are crimes against all workers. Today, let us demand a return to the original purpose of workers' compensation, respect and care for injured workers and prompt benefits for as long as the disability lasts. Thank you. Merci. Miigwech. Thank you. Next member statement, the member for Scarborough Agent Court. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Sri Varasiti Vinayagar Hindu Temple in Scarborough Agent Court is an outstanding institution providing spiritual, educational, and cultural guidance to many diverse generations of the Tamil and Hindu communities. Their 17th annual Cultural Day festivities was one such forum to showcase their work. The Sri Varasiti Vinayagar Hindu College students, aged 4 to 14, performed more than 20 cultural displays to celebrate Tamil culture and heritage. About 200 students participated in this long day celebration. I commend the chief priest, the teachers, the clergy, and the organizers for bringing together the community and passing the torch to the next generation. The Scarborough Agent Court is proud to host such a great organization. A week later, I had the honor of participating in a somber Tamil Genocide Remembrance Day commemoration to uphold the memory of the victims, pay tribute to the survivors, and send a message to deniers that their efforts to negate the facts will not be successful. The most impressive aspect of the night was the visit to the genocide memorial wall and the entertainment today flower at the Polish Life Money. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next member statement, member for Hamilton Center.
Madam Speaker, an investigation from the Hamilton Spectator recently found that over the last year, a group of men have been responsible for a white nationalist vandalism campaign in Hamilton and recently emerged from the shadows to use public parks for combat training. This investigation found that they are part of a vast global network of neo-Nazis spreading hatred against Jewish people, black people, and the LGBTQ plus community while the social media platform they call home takes no steps to stop it. We need this government, and I call on this government, to denounce all forms of hate in our communities across this province and call and speak against the rise of white nationalism in our communities. Thank you. Thank you. Next member statement, the member for Thornhill. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Not long ago, I joined colleagues to announce an investment of over $36 million to York Region as part of our homelessness prevention program. The issue of homelessness is complex, and our government is continuously working on it. Everyone deserves a place to call home. I've had many opportunities to engage with homeless support programs in my riding. I've joined St. Joseph, the Workers' Pair Street Patrol program, packing meals uh, for those in need alongside remote remarkable Thornhill teens. And while volunteering at the Holy Trinity Church Homeless Shelter, I met two dedicated sisters, Miriam and Hillary, along with a remarkable young woman by the name of Cindy. Cindy arrived at the shelter back in December. She suffered some, from some very hard times and found herself homeless for the night. She showed me the exact mattress she lied on that night. She had a picture of it. And she was approached by uh, Rihanna Sumar, executive director at Mosaic Interfaith Out of the Cold program. And today, just a few months later, Cindy is employed as a PSW. She's moved into new permanent housing and working side by side with Rihanna to give back to the community. Mosaic, part of Blue Door, recently received an OTF grant to help them continue their, their significant work. I am so proud to be a part of this COG, and Mr. Speaker, this is not only to prevent homelessness, but provide resources. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next member statement, member for <laughs> Thank you, Speaker. I, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to update the House on a flooding situation in Tamiskaming Cochrane, Nellie Lake, just outside of Iroquois Falls. Um, it has been in flood conditions for a few weeks now. A lot of my riding had flood, and the flood flowed away. But Nellie Lake is unique because residents around the lake now, their septic systems are flooding. They no longer work. They're having to boil water, um, and now some of their the, the it's questionable whether the foundations around their homes are are going to be maintained. Nelly Lake is unique because part of it's in, in, in the municipality of, of Iroquois Falls, and they have declared a state of emergency, and part of it is in unorganized territory. I would like to say I've met with the Minister of Natural Resources and the Minister of Municipal Affairs, and uh, we are working together to try and alleviate the situation. There, it's, it's hard to find a short-term solution, but our, our, there is long-term consequences to what is happening here. It is unprecedented. Nelly Lake, in, in my time, hasn't flooded, and people in, around this area have never seen this before. And it's not, there's no such thing as an easy flood, but if a flood comes and goes, it's one thing. But this flood came, and it stayed, and it's staying. So I'm going to continue to work with the ministries uh, to work on behalf of the people of Nelly Lake. Thank you very much. Member statements. The member for Hastings, Lennox, and Addington. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, this morning I'm rising in recognition that we're rapidly coming to the end of the spring session. And while I have truly enjoyed this sitting of the legislature, working with all of the members, and moving forward with the government's plans to build Ontario, to build homes, and bring jobs and prosperity to all parts of Ontario, I am very much looking forward to spending, some t spending the summer back in my riding, visiting with our residents and working locally to achieve the very necessary goals. From the shores of Lake Ontario, through farms and forests, uh, villages and towns, all the way north to Algonquin Park, I have the privilege of representing what must be, in my opinion, the most beautiful and varied riding in the entire province. 
over the summer. I've been invited to so many different fairs, festivals, exhibitions, and social events. With summer affairs, summer fairs in Tweed, Napanee, Odessa, Sterling, and Cohill, and even the World's Fair in Shannonville, Ontario. These amazing events, like the Tamworth 175th anniversary, the Farm to Table Community Dinner, and so many more. With all of these events leading up to the Hastings County Plowing Match, and then even more events in the fall. Speaker, it will be a very busy summer because the people of Hastings, Lennox and Addington are very excited and energized, and we know that Ontario is on the right path. It's going to be a great summer, Speaker. Thank you. Member Statements. The member for Bruce Gray, Owen South. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this past weekend, I had the pleasure of attending two events that demonstrated the great energy, character, and generosity of the people of Bruce Gray Owen Sound. The first was Saturday morning at the Walk for Alzheimer's at the Gray Sauvel Conservation Authority near Inglis Falls outside Owen Sound. It was a beautiful morning, and there was a huge turnout of walkers, volunteers, and supporters. This great event was organized by the Alzheimer's Society of Gray Bruce and was supported by IG Wealth Management. Amazingly, it was one of four walks they organized that day. Alzheimer's Society does such important work to support those living with Alzheimer's and dementia in our community, and it was great to see such active community support for this important work. Next, it was off to beautiful Harrison Park in Owen Sound for the hike for hospice in support of Gray Bruce Hospice and Chapman House in Owen Sound. Again, there were many hikers and volunteers supporting a great organization. Gray Bruce Hospice provides comprehensive and compassionate care to residents and families in communities during their journey with life-limiting illness. Our friend, former MPP Bill Murdoch, received great care at the Gray Bruce Hospice before his passing last August. Thank you to all who supported the hike for hospice. These two events demonstrate the great character of our great community in Bruce Gray Owen Sound, so thank you to all who were involved. Thank you. Thank you. Member Statements. The member for Oakville North, Burlington. Thank you, Speaker. It's my distinct pleasure to congratulate Dr. Jennifer Kagan, who was recently honoured with the Attorney General's Victim Service Award of Distinction. This award recognizes the dedication and achievements of individuals and organizations working to support people who've been victimized due to crime and to raise awareness of victims' issues in Ontario. From the tragic death of her daughter, Kira, Dr. Kagan has been a tireless advocate for women who are victims of intimate partner violence and for children traumatized by the violence. She's called for policy and legislative change to better protect victims of domestic violence in the family courts and child protection system. Her leadership on this important issue inspired me to introduce Kira's Law Motion, which was unanimously passed last year. My motion shone a bright light on the need for specific education and training about intimate partner violence and coercive control for judges, justices of the peace, and other legal professionals. I applaud the government for including in Bill 102 the need to enhance training for judges and JPs. It is an important first step. And to Jennifer, we thank you for not giving up and being a strong leader for so many. This battle has come with the utmost pain, but let it be known, your little girl, Kira, is changing the world for the better. Thank you very much. That concludes our member statements for this morning.